Good morning, and uh, thank you all for, for coming out. It's great to see so many people here. I'd like to think it was for the town hall presentation, but I really know it was for uh, Mariachi and Elena. Um, they are really fabulous, and I think represent uh, very well the excellence and diversity to which we aspire. So some of the best news on the campus comes from our admissions statistics. We just sent out our letter, and this is all good news, admittedly, unless you have somebody applying to Rice that you know. Um, in particular, the increase in out-of-state applications, which has gone from a little over 4,000 to a little over 10,000 ap applicants, uh, this is really helping get the word out about Rice and an indication, as I said before, a reflection of what all of you do and whether that's making sure our library runs well or our buses run well and you're greeted by a friendly bus driver or you maintain the campus and the beauty of the campus is one of the first things that strikes everybody when they come to the campus. I think last year I mentioned the story of uh, our $30 million donor who's not a Rice graduate and I asked him why he contributed to Rice, and his answer was because every time he came on the campus, he felt so well treated. On capital projects, uh, we are, this picture of a Conestoga wagon, you know, we're going west on the campus. Uh, recently completed the Anderson Clark Center. I hope you've had a chance to visit this really spectacular new building that's really the now focus of our outreach, educational outreach across the campus. Entrance eight for Anderson Clark, but entrance 18, if you've driven there and seen, last time I drove in there, there was this giant pile of dirt off to your right. That is going to be turned into tennis courts and a tennis uh, facility, world class. Uh, the courts there will be configured so we can host major championships, for example. We've grown 30% in the last eight years or so. At the same time, we are the smallest wide spectrum research, elite research university in the country. That's part of our strength and we need to preserve that because it really affects what kind of community we are and the student experience. It's important that we're committed to making our education available regardless of people's means. That everyone who can get into Rice, which is challenging, has the opportunity to come to Rice. The very quality of our student body. This year, over 17,700 applicants for 945 places. That's a lot of picking and choosing among people. We could fill the class with people with perfect SATs. We choose not to fill the class with people with perfect SATs. We choose to fill it with the people we think can contribute the most to the quality of the education here. So, um, it's for Dr. Zeus, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better, it's not. Now you might wonder how it is that I got tricked into that. Um, so I uh, had a picture taken in this great uh, exhibition in the art gallery without the hat, and I tweeted it. Some of you, I think, follow me on Twitter. And I tweeted it, and somebody tweeted back at me, and they said, you know, um, the only thing missing from that picture is the red and white Dr. Seuss hat. And then I foolishly tweeted it back, well, if someone delivered me the hat, I'd wear it next time I went to the gallery, thinking that would be the end of it. <laughs> Two days later, the hat arrives in my office. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a lawyer by training, and I know that when you have an open-ended offer and say, if somebody performs something, you'll do something else, when they, when they perform, that becomes a binding contract. And so that's how I ended up in the gallery in my hat. 